Hello folks, Joe with Smoky Joe's Pit Barbecue. As you can see here today, we are gonna be cooking some ribs, but I am gonna be uh, doing a comparison between my pit barrel cooker and my gateway drum smoker. I'm gonna be hanging both of these racks, guys, and I wanna see which one, which rack, if there's any difference in flavor or texture, because they're gonna cook differently, but I wanna know which one is gonna cook um, and taste better. So what I did, guys, I've got two, two racks of spare ribs here. I've trimmed them up. Um, and they were spare ribs and I cut them into St. Louis style and I'm going to tell you exactly this is this is what I would do in a competition guys this is the exact same recipe there's no secrets you know I don't want to keep any secrets from anybody but uh, I put a, a layer of the garlic jalapeno seasonal from Victory Lane and then in between or after that I put their competition rib rub this is a new product guys I'm already down to half a bottle I really love this stuff it really tastes good so I put that after the garlic jalapeno seasonal, and then to top these two, I put their uh, cherry bomb barbecue rub. Again, all these products are from Victory Lane, um, and they taste amazing, guys, okay? So um, the last comparison I did was just to try the competition uh, rib rub with no sauce on their ribs, but this time I am, uh, this time I am gonna put some uh, sauce on them and some glaze. Uh, it's a sauce that I mix, guys. It's my homemade uh, sauce, and it serves as a glaze as well. So I'm looking forward to trying that. These should be amazing, guys. I've been craving ribs for, for a few days now. So I'm gonna go ahead and hang these guys. I'm gonna take them outside and hang them, one in the gateway drum and one inside the pit barrel. On the gateway drum, I did remove the diffuser plate, so it's a level playing field. Uh, they're both gonna be exposed to the, uh, to the coals on the bottom. And uh, we'll see, we'll take it from there. We'll see how it goes. I'm gonna cook at about 300 degrees, 275 to 300 is what I'm gonna cook these uh, ribs at. I'm gonna hang them probably for for about an hour and I'm going to be spritzing them with just plain old water and um, after that hour I'm going to go ahead and wrap them for about 30 minutes and then take them out of that foil and then let them just uh, lay them flat on the grates at that point then I'll sauce them after the two hour mark. I, I am also going to be putting the uh, the uh, Victory Lane butter bath. I'm going to put about a cup into each uh, foil wrap um, after or before I, I wrap them up I want to put that, that mixture in there. Guys this serves as a you know, I've seen a lot of people, and I used to do it as well, put butter, put some brown sugar, put some honey, and um, and maybe some apple juice or pineapple juice. I, I like to use pineapple juice. But guys, I don't do that anymore. I simply buy this butter bath and wrap from Victory Lane. This stuff is amazing, guys. Again, I've used this uh, two, three times already, and I still have plenty of it. So I used about three ounces of the, uh, of the butter bath and wrap, and about, let me see what I have here. I've got 12 ounces of liquid, so I'm going to probably put six ounces into each each uh, each rack. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and hang these outside, and I'll bring you along with me, so stay tuned. All right, folks, I just put the ribs in. This is the gateway drum, and there's the uh, rack of ribs there, and the temperature is right at 275, you can see there, and here's the pit barrel running. Right around 260, it's coming up to 275. And there's that rack there. So we'll check on them in about 30 minutes, and at that time we will spritz. So stay tuned. All right, guys, it's been 30 minutes now. And the uh, rub is definitely set, so I'm going to go ahead and spritz. Looking really good. Get the back side of it. Look at that nice red color, guys. That's exactly what I'm looking for right there. So, check in. 30 minutes for that bad boy. Oh man, you can smell the cherry flavor too. Cherry rub. And here's the uh, pit barrel. Again, looking really good. Temperatures on both of these smokers, guys, were at 275, so pretty happy with that. Hit the back side. This smells really good. Look at that. Guys, I did put uh, about five chunks of um, hickory, uh, just uh, lump wood in there. You can see them there on the bottom, just smoking away. So we'll check back in about 30 minutes, so stay tuned. All right, guys, we're back, and it's been about an hour, so I'm going to go ahead and pull the rack off of the Gateway Drum Smoker, and I'm going to show you what I do to put the... Uh, butter bath in there so here we go okay. 
guys. So here we go. Uh, it's looking really, really good. Let's take off some of these little burnt ends here. This is the part that was on the bottom. Again, I'm not too worried about it. And yeah, this is probably going to be hot, but I'll see if I can take it off. Oh, yeah. Comes off real nice and easy. So, guys, this is where I would normally put the butter, the brown sugar, and, and um, pineapple juice. But uh, real simple, guys. All I do is I got my butter bath right here. There we go. Just uh, hold it like this. And nice and tight. And fold one end over like this. Okay. This other end, I got a nice little pocket here. Okay. This is where I'm going to dump about six ounces of my liquid into the foil. So let's see here. Maybe a little bit more, just a splash more. And that's it, guys. That's how easy this butter bath is to use. So make sure the liquid goes all the way down into the rack. Hold it over. And that's it. So I'm going to do the same thing to the rack that's in the pit barrel. I'm going to put both grates back in the smokers and lay them flat on the grate. So stay tuned. All right, guys, just wanted to show you. I got the uh, racks put back on the smoker. I put the grates on there. And uh, it's going to stay there for about 30 minutes. Just like that. And here's the pit barrel cooker. Again, put the grate back in the pit barrel cooker and lay the racks. There'll be a rack right on top of the grate, so it'll stay there for about 30 minutes. And again, I'm cooking at 275 to 300. Um, gateway's already heading towards 300. My pit barrel, I just put that uh, rack in so it cooled off, but it will jump back up to 275 to 300. So, see you in about 30 minutes, guys. All right, guys, we are at the hour and a half mark. And I'm going to go ahead and pull the ribs out of the foil. Here, I got a hot glove on and a rubber glove. It's a little windy outside, guys, so pardon the background noise. But guys, this is only an hour and a half, okay? And uh, meat is pulling away nicely from the bone. Throw that trash. Flip them over. Look at that. So, I'm going to cover these up, guys, for about 30 minutes. And let's check the uh, let's check the pit barrel cooker. Take out one of the rods. Ooh, yeah, look at that. That color is amazing, guys. Look at that. So, again, yeah, just pull the, rip, the rack off. Pass the floor away. Just like that. And flip the rack over. Look at that. So, guys, these are going to cook for another probably 30 minutes, then I'll come outside and uh, sauce them. So stay tuned, guys. All right, guys, so it's been about an hour and 50 minutes since I first put this uh, these ribs on. These are the uh, ribs that are on the uh, gateway drum. I'm gonna sauce the back of them. First, I'll take this. Put enough sauce on the on the bottom. You know, if, if this was a competition, you want to make sure you get the back of them because you know the judges are going to bite into this and they want to they want to taste that sauce all the way around the rack. And then obviously we'll do the front side or the top side of it. Put enough of it on there, and we're going to let the uh, the sauce uh, set for. Probably five minutes, guys, and then we'll we'll pull the racks off, pull racks off. 
So put enough of the glaze or sauce, whatever it is that you want to use. And again, guys, I'm using a homemade sauce. And it looks really nice and shiny, so. You can see there. So, guys, I want to do the uh, pit barrel rack, and um, we'll catch you guys inside. So stay tuned. Hi right, guys, we're back, and I went ahead and cut the uh, the ribs. And this rack here was cut cooked on my pit barrel, and this rack here was cooked on my gateway drum. And I've got my mother here with me. Say hello, mom. My beautiful mom. Hi, everybody. <laughs> so she ball and she got ball and told to be in my video today to to sample the ribs and get her opinion on which uh, rib she thinks has a better flavor. So we're gonna try the one in the on the gateway drum first, and give this a shot. Try that one more. Look at that. Mm. Nice meaty rib. Mm. Mm. Wow, that was a big bite. Nice bite too. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Nice. Good. Oh yeah, you got a big bite. Mm -hmm. It just kept coming on. Right. Mm. So that's the gateway drum smoker now. Try one of these ones. And again, these were cooked on the uh, pit barrel. Mmm. Mmm. They're good. I think they're looking good. Which one do you think is better? I like the first one. You like the first one? Yeah, it's got like a little spicy taste. Well, they both have the same sauce, mm -hmm. the same rub. I'm picking up more smoky flavor. Take another bite out of that one. Like, see if you can catch the smoky flavor to it. Mm -hmm. Okay, now try this one again. All right. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I have a clear winner. Did yeah. change your mind at all? Mm -hmm. Which one do you think tastes better? This one has a smokier flavor. This one has a lot smokier flavor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's that hickory flavor. Yeah. They're both uh, just as tender, but this one has a lot more smoky flavor to it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so I wanted you to take another bite out of that. Yeah. But guys, this is it. Again, the pit barrel does it again. Um, you know, you guys have seen the videos where I cooked on the pit barrel and compared it to the gateway drum. And it, there's something always about it that the food just comes out tasting better. And in this case, it won again. In this comparison, mine was the pit barrel cooker. It's got a more smoky flavor. The rib is uh, just as tender. Both of them have a really good yeah, flavor. But uh, definitely picking up a, a smokier flavor on this one. So I'll leave uh, videos up top, guys, where I've done the past comparisons before. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit that little bell to remind you of when I post a new video. Until next time, guys, I'm Smoking Joe. Okay. See ya. Bye-bye.